Hi, I'm Dr. Jayashree Sharad. Welcome to Ask Jayashree, where I will be answering all your skin queries. Let's start with the first tweet query. Gautam says, Hi ma'am, my friend has a problem of acne scars. She underwent pixel treatment and also dermarola in vain. Please suggest. Well, Gotham, there are various types of acne scars. You know, there are deep scars, there are pitted scars, ice pick scars, rolling scars, superficial scars. Not every type of scar responds to a particular treatment. It has to be a combination of various treatments. Your friend could undergo subsession surgery, which is a mild uh, surgical procedure. She could do some peels to get rid of all the blemishes and then she could do something called microneedling RF which will take care of the deeper scars. This combination can really help her achieve a better result. Someone with a Twitter handle called Design Is My Life has asked me, My sister has got acne problem. Her diet is not junk. Please suggest what to do. Well. First of all, she has to figure out if there is a hormonal imbalance in the body. So ask her to get certain hormonal blood tests done to rule out something called polycystic ovarian disease. And then if it's a teenage problem, of course it is because of the hormonal changes. Ask her to consult a dermatologist. Ask her to use a salicylic acid based face wash and use a clindamycin gel on the acne at night. Well, as far as food is concerned, it's only dairy products which are known to increase acne. So if it's chocolates, ice creams, cheese, butter and all those delicious dairy products, she will have to avoid them. It's not junk which really increases acne. Pallavi says, I never got a perfect foundation match for my skin tone. I desperately would like to know which one to use. Well, Pallavi, you have to first know what your skin tone is. Is it yellow, is it a pink hue, or is it a neutral color? So depending on that, you will choose your foundation. Always choose a foundation in bright natural light. Make sure that you know you go out, ask your wherever, whichever store you're going to, take the permission, take the foundation and go out. And in bright light, just use and take three shades always. Something which is darker than your skin, something which is lighter than your skin color, and something which is off your skin color. And then go and try it all along your jawline. Wait for some time because the body heat also takes time to kind of set this foundation. And after about 10 minutes, you see which color blends naturally with your skin. Tanvi Jain and Rubina Mulchandani have asked me for some home remedies for acne. Well, first of all, it's not possible to cure acne with just home remedies. So you will have to do certain care. Uh, use oil-free products whenever you use anything on your skin. Use a salicylic acid based face wash. Do not apply too much of heavy makeup on the skin because that will clog your pores. We've done an entire episode on acne. So you can actually log on and uh, subscribe to Skinfinity and check out all those YouTubes that we've done for acne. As far as home remedies are concerned, you can use an aloe vera pack. So just take the aloe vera, you know, the leaf, break it and take that sap and apply it on your skin. Leave it for 10 minutes and rinse it off. So it has antibacterial properties, it has soothing properties and therefore it hydrates your skin and kills the bacteria. That's one thing that you can do. The second thing is of course neem leaves, you know, which is very, very popular. You can take neem leaves and crush them, make them into a paste and add a pinch of turmeric to it. Now both these are antiseptic, so they will kill the bacteria which are responsible for the acne. So apply this paste, leave it on for 10 minutes and wash it off. But remember that not all acne have the bacteria called propionibacterium acne. Sometimes it is just a lot of oil which gets clogged and that will not you know, go with these kind of home remedies. There, you will have to use an adiferin gel or a benzoyl peroxide gel. So you will need to see a dermatologist. Thank you for writing to me. Please keep tweeting. My handle is at Jayashri Sharad. Subscribe to us and do not forget to post your comments.